I when I do business uh, trainings, I still I have still prepare some things that we're going to go through, but I don't fret about it. I don't get anxious about it. I don't spend uh, nights tossing and turning, thinking about what if this happens and what if that happens. I'm much more relaxed and I'm much more present uh, in, with the groups. So I'm noticing less time of being um, anxious and uh, and less time to prepare. I do prepare every time. I, I like to be well prepared in terms of what, what are the sort of messages that I want to get through with. But I'm not so interested anymore in a specific tool or technique. I'm, I'm much more interested in finding out what is emerging in the group as I'm there or with the client as, as we speak. So I'm noticing that. Um, so it's yeah. kind of like trusting, trusting yourself, your wisdom. Yes. Um, it, it sounds as though that, that, that is almost relaxing into it. That's what I'm hearing. Is that how you might describe it? Yes, that's a good way of describing it. Yeah. Um, in my personal life, I guess I've, I've, um, I was happy and healthy and, 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 uh, and, and very calm even before I came into the principle. So it hasn't been a massive shift for me. Although when I do have my down times, I notice that I just go through it much more gracefully now. So when I do have nights, which I still do, where I'm, where I get anxious about something, something will grab me in the night. Um, my friendly monsters under the bed will grab hold of me, and um, and now rather than engaging with them, I'm much more looking at them as my friends and seeing my feelings as a guiding system for telling me that there's something that I, which is might be out of balance. Or, or just noticing that um, I'm feeling anxious, and that's okay. And I know that it will pass, and the sun always comes out, even after a storm. So in the morning, usually I'm, I'm fine, and uh, the clouds are gone, and, and the sun comes out again. And how do you see the future, then, for you personally, with the three principles understanding as part of of your future how do you see that unfold i'm creating a a new website at the moment called the principles institute where i'm where i'm going to put into all of the activities that i have uh, with the principles which is i see them over the next couple of years being more and more completely principle based so i am transitioning now um I don't know how much time it will take. I'm, sometimes I'm thinking that I, I actually like being in business in the way that I am now because the people who are buying seminars from, from me today are the sort of people who would never go to a sort of self-help or personal development seminar. They wouldn't go there, so they wouldn't necessarily hear about the principles unless it was in a business setting so I feel like I have um, an opportunity and uh, and maybe even a talent of going into that sort of setting and bringing them some knowledge about how they're experiencing life and creating life um, at each moment. So I want to continue to do that. That's so, um, yeah, just more and more, I think. And um, yes. I was going to say that sounds really exciting. So, so some really great things in the future. Yeah. And okay, so the question that everybody says when somebody says, Oh, this is, I've heard this, that you're into this thing called the three principles. Just remind me again, what are the three principles? What's your answer to that question? Well, uh, shortly, the principles, of course, are, are, are thought, consciousness, and mind. But if I was going to put some more words to it, I, I always I always help people see where is all experience coming from. I always want to, to point them back to the source of what creates everything. And so for me, the, the, the principle of mind really is the, the principle that creates everything else. Without the principle of mind, without the, the source uh, or the, the, the intelligence behind life, nothing would exist. So in one sense, there is only one principle. But out of that, of course, we have an awareness or a consciousness about what it is that we're creating, what it is that we're seeing um, around us. 
Um, so the fact of consciousness, and then there's, of course, personal consciousness. So there's the consciousness that I can get in touch with when, I, when my thinking subsides and I start becoming aware of where everything is coming from. And I become aligned with the fact of consciousness more than just my personal consciousness. So it's a much deeper level in a way. So what would you say is the difference between that consciousness and your personal consciousness? Personal consciousness, I see much more like what am I aware of in my, on a psychological level? I can be aware of what's going on in my surroundings, how I'm feeling. So it's, 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 it's more the psychological uh, consciousness where I see the fact of consciousness as being the, the spiritual dimension. It's where is consciousness being created from. So it's, it's, it's beyond the psychological. And the same with thought. I have personal thinking about lots of different things, and a lot of that is very helpful thinking. Uh, sometimes when I get caught in, in contaminated thinking, it really helps me to look at the fact of thought. Where does thought come from? What is the source, source of all thought? And again, that brings me back to the spiritual, beyond the psychological personal thinking, beyond there and into the, the source of all thought. And, that, and that's very helpful, um, especially when I'm struggling with something. Mm. 